Hear that? Is that America cheering or a sausage patty sizzling to perfection? It's time to cheer for Egg McMuffin and fresh cracked eggs at McDonald's. It's time to wake up to the aroma of freshly baked biscuits and treat yourself to a real honest-to-goodness morning meal. Breakfast, it's on at McDonald's. Now enjoy a large iced coffee for just 2 bucks and a breakfast sandwich to make a meal. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Meet Shannon Simmons, owner of Rad Ads Ad Agency. Shannon's biggest client is across the country, and they requested an in-person meeting tomorrow. So she used her American Express Business Cards app feature, which lets her track her business expenses from the last-minute flight to the late-night burrito upon arrival. Big meeting Tuesday, expenses recorded Wednesday, crushing it every day. Built for business by American Express. Don't do business without it. While this story is fictional, the value of Amex business cards is real. Terms apply. Learn more at americanexpress.com slash businesscards. Good morning, everybody. Um, good to see you. I'm going to take over, Grace. First thing is send the fitness to everybody. To those of you in ATS Fitness, you're about to get the replay right now. You are three hours behind. So let's get started. Let's tear down that fat and tone up those hips or whatever it is your goals are. So go ahead and do that stuff there. Number two, uh, well, everybody here knows what we're already doing, so no problem, I don't have to say that. And what is this, March 15th? I look at March 15th as not just another day but it is a day that all of you should be hold yourself accountable. What have you done? Let's talk that way first. What have you done? It's, it's March, so that's already automatically quarter. It's the middle of March. So there's the middle of the quarter. You have enough, you now have enough days in the year to determine how much your, how productive the rest of your year is going to be. That is facts. There's enough that has happened this year for all of you to determine how much yours, how well your year is going to be. You're pretty much going to just do whatever you've done three more times. That's, that's pretty much whatever you've done three more times until you change, right? Three more times. Now, you don't have to answer to me what have you done, but I do want you to take inventory of what you have done. So let's everybody pause for a second. Let us just think, huh, I have done blank according to what I said. I don't know what that means. It could be well, or I did the same thing. However that is, that is completely up to you, but let's everybody, everybody, have, do you, have you, did you write as many pages of your book that you said you were gonna do? Did you, did you win a Grammy with all the Grammy winners? last night did you if that was your goal i'm not sure what was your goal were you like jerome and finished your books <laughs> i mean jerome have you ever finished four books before okay jerome says no jerome is having a record-breaking year Woo! yeah we can clap for that. that's that's you i see how this works you saying this works okay now, now, don't don't go look for something to be like. Well, I haven't done this before, so I'm having no, 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 no. no. <laughs> That's a major life changing, defining moment for Jerome. How many of you? How many of you said you were going to change your diet this year? We know Susan and Phil don't have that problem at all. But for the rest of you, how many of you said that? Okay. I think, I think you're able to get the point here that 
you're going to repeat whatever you have done now. You have enough days. There's enough, this is March 15th. There are enough days for you to take inventory on yourself. Now, there's something I used to always tell Deanna and she hated it. She's probably gonna hate it right now, but we'll see. Now you see who you are and not your intentions. Mm -hmm. She hates when I say that, but it is what it is. Mm -hmm. why, why do you, tell us why you dislike that. I don't know if you still dislike it, but why did you dislike it? I disliked it because <clears throat> when you're used to everyone going by what you say and not your harvest, when you're used to that, everybody's like, oh, okay, cool. And then they're like, they're past it now. But so it makes, it gives you a false sense of who you are. But when you say you're not, you're not who you say, but who you like, you are your harvest, not what you say you are. It's like, dang, well, I started believing what people were saying about me, knowing it wasn't true, but now here you come telling me that who I really am is who I really am. But all these years, everybody been saying the opposite. And I started believing what they were saying, but here you come. It's like, you're not supposed to see my true colors. So that's, that's, that's why I used to hate it. Well, that's universal. Oh, I was, Monica, I was saying all sorts of stuff. The 10 years I was eating 16 Reese's peanut butter cups a day, but my tummy and my liver and my kidneys were processing all that sugar and was saying, this is who you really are, Antonio, okay? <laughs> you know, get to, <laughs> harvest is just harvest. All of you, look, <laughs> go ahead, Susan. <laughs> Well, what you just said in the saying is you are what you eat. So it's very, very true. Whatever you put into your body, your body is a machine, a program machine. It is going to affect it one way or another. That's just the bottom line. That's the way it works. I just, you know, I can't say this is broccoli, even though it is Reese's peanut butter cups, you know. <laughs> my, but my intention is to eat broccoli field. That's not the way it works. That's not the way it, now there's nothing wrong with Reese's peanut butter cups in moderation, you know, and, and extreme moderation. And <laughs> I would say I am a recipient of what can happen should you continue to indulge in the wonderful tasting, tasteful, explosively good milk chocolatey Reese's peanut butter cups. Yes, they. Thing is, Antonio. Uh huh. Once your body gets used to the way you're eating, to even take one bite of that, it really doesn't taste good anymore to you. Those things are not appealing to your taste buds anymore you really don't crave it and it doesn't really taste good the real i not agree with that susan i not agree with that susan right and to that. make a correction on, you know we're doing everything uh my you know with the pandemic and my sense of being able to get out there my thing that i want to do the most is to be able to go to a farmer's market and get the fresh produce because you know, I'm not getting those things now. I don't want something that, you know, the farmers have been handling and, and the store has been handling <laughs> else. And then you have to really try to wash it. So I'm getting frozen and it's, it's different from all the fresh things. So fresh is best. And that's, that's my, my main thing I want to do first when all of this pandemic is, is over. That's that's a good so, so it, it's like when you start eating those fresh things as opposed to something mixed or frozen or whatever your your taste buds are going to just crave those things and those are going to be the things that um, you'll want it it's not like a sacrifice a sacrifice it's 
it's an indulgent. It it's like what you really want. I don't want a Reese's cup that has no taste to my taste buds. I don't taste that anymore or, or desire that. But um, now, you know, dark, dark chocolate is another story, but that's a healthy thing. And just at a, a small amount. And I have a little piece of that every afternoon with a cup of tea and that satisfies any of that. So all those small changes that you do, you have to do it long enough so that the effects stay and there's no desire to go back. So you just, you just have to kind of keep pushing through it. And if that helps anybody, I hope it does. And maybe you'll remember it as you're going through the exercise and all the things that are coming here. Yeah, no, that is a good point and, and pushes. Thank you. Yes. I was going to say, yeah, it did. I still eat my avocados every day. I'm still trying to put it on the salad though, Susan. I'm working on that. But yeah, no, everything you say is so true. Like, Yeah, well, somebody already in my in my private messages on the chat, on the Zoom chat said, hush, hush. I'm, I'm walking on some toes here. But it, it, it is a... <laughs> a movable point here or an, an, an immovable point that you are what you are and what's most important here is this March 15th as of this recording you now have enough data to know what you're going to do for the rest of the year as Susan said she doesn't have a taste for those things no more I wish my team and you all would not have a taste for incomplete task anymore. Amen. I wish Amen. because Monica and Grace have stopped doing their daily tasks even after I said last week, they stopped doing their daily task. Yeah, to see it. It, it, uh, <laughs> it was her birthday. That's what it was. So, can we have that today? Yes. All right. All right. Ashley, you're going to keep going. Yes. Did the live work for you again? It did. All right. Outstanding. She's excited. Diana, yes. You had a goal in January to blank. Two things. Was it a week, a month? A month. A month. Now that was for me. So that, that wasn't that wasn't everybody else. That wasn't everybody else. Yeah, it was two two a month for you on top of the others. Outstanding. No more incomplete tasks, <laughs> even though. Your problem is more their problem because they are delaying their own publishing, but they good now. Yeah, I mean, you had to whip them in shape. No more incomplete task. No more incomplete task. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Every last one of you are guilty, even Huntsville over here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little situation. All listen, every last one of you. Oh, okay, I just got me a little message here that says Cindy Wilson is new to the call. Woo! Yes, yes, yes. One of Tanya's okay. success team leaders. And uh, we would like to send you all sorts of encouragement, Cindy Wilson. If y'all can unmute your mics and just love on her real quick. We appreciate Woo! that. She yeah, she Welcome said, whoop, whoop. Cindy. Woo! Oh, right, Miss Cindy. Welcome to the fam. Welcome. You're under the, you're okay. under the leadership of Tanya and Samuel. And let me tell you, they I, surely you are not a quitter. Because they don't even understand the word quit. That is for sure. So I'm sure they don't know any quitters whatsoever. They are they are ATS gold around here. You come from good cloth, I'm sure of it. And we would love to to see you at oh, you're a music mic. Go ahead. You can say something, Cindy. 
No, I'm just saying, I'm just, yeah, I, I am new and I'm just blessed to have Sam and Tanya um, as mentors and, and as leadership. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am, we can hear you. You're blessed. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Okay, just making sure. Um, and, you know, right, right at this, mo this morning is, you know, um, as being in leadership, you know, my difficult problem is because I have been through so much physical pain, dealing with um, trying to get the right treatment, the right doctor. Um, and right now, I'm just living through hell. I'm just going to point it out there. And, you know, right here this morning, I could cry because I'm listening to all of you. And it's right about um, having um, that um, incomplete, incomplete task. Uh, but guilty, guilty. But I feel that because I'm having so much difficulty health-wise, I'm having trouble getting to the next step. And it's just challenging um, for me right now about getting to the next step when um, I feel like crap. I know Satan's attacking me. I know it's a I know it's a spiritual warfare attack. And I have a strong faith in the Lord. But I'm telling you, people, my body hurts. I'm tired. I didn't sleep again last night. I'm exhausted. So I just appreciate your prayers, advice. I'm writing notes down um, each time I'm on and listening and taking inventory in yourself. You know, I talk about diet change. I, I'm a Diet Coke freak. Give me a Diet Coke and I'll drink Diet Cokes all day long. So I've stopped the Diet Cokes. I've just been drinking water for the past three weeks because, because I've been so sick for so long I put on all this weight. Okay, what am I going to do about it? I know I can't exercise right now, but like you said, can you change your diet? Yeah, I can change my diet. I can go off the Diet Coke, get into the, um, drink the water, and then making sure that my proportions are smaller. And the bad thing about my husband's a chef. And let me tell you, honey, when he cooks, I'm going to eat. <laughs> well, you know, he's great. You know, he's just wonderful. So it's just, you know, I know right now I feel like that I'm unsettled. And I feel like that um, I want to approach the next level. But it's very hard trying to approach the next level because I'm in pain. So what was so it? Help me, help me, help me. I'm asking for help. I need help to get to the next level of getting out of this pain, waiting on these doctors, waiting on these authorizations. I worked in the medical field for 40 years, so I know it takes time, but I'm out of time. I'm out of patience. I'm going to tell you, I'm here. And my hand is ever to my head. I'm here. You know, it's because of the body is just, suffering and when you're suffering when you're in pain I'm trying to keep keeping the enemy out of my head because I know God's in control but but help me I need help I need that spiritual help that spiritual guidance to get me that yes I can get to the next level and I feel like I'm stuck you know I want to be able to um April the 4th you know I stepped down from ministry um, because of all this pain that I've been in, April the 4th is our um, wanting to start back up in church ministry. And I feel like everything is fighting against me. Between my leadership, um, between the ones that are supposed to be working with me, not getting answers, not working with me. I hate negativity. Yes, you can discuss things, but when you start pouring negativi negativity into me, nah not negativity we're not having negativity let's have positivity let's work things out so if you all have any suggestions please help me i'm asking for help yeah, I'm about yeah. To I'm about to antonio yes. wait a minute oh i'm sorry because that was antonio, nice you just... if you would like to contact me i and you know if i knew what her issues were i i could direct her to some 
different physicians and different um, avenues for whatever her issues are. I've studied this stuff for many years. Mm -hmm. I didn't get this way overnight and I'm still always in a work, work in progress. Uh, Me too. Know, all are in, in all areas. Um, if it's not one thing, it's something else, you know, so. Yeah, I, we, I'm a definitely I set that up. I blessed with health issues very early on mm -hmm. and have an autoimmune disease issues. Yeah. So I, I had to search and keep searching and searching. Um, and I really didn't start doing that until my late 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, you know, um, to to really hone in on that. But I searched out the, the best and the greatest and some of them have become my friends. I'll be on a health summit with some of these top physicians around the globe. Um, this is it's either this week or next week for a whole week. And I get, I've been getting on those for years. So if there's anything that I can do to direct you in some of the right directions, it'd be, an honor for me to help you. Thank I'll, you. I'll definitely make you get connected with Susan. And I'm sure I, I, every last one of you have something to say, but we're going to hold it. We're going we're to hold it for right now. We're going to hold it. Y'all just do me a favor. Just do me a favor. Unmute your mics and pour back into her and encourage her. And then I'll take it from there. Y'all encourage her. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. All right, Miss Cindy. Oh, yeah, Miss Cindy. We're pushing her. Right, right place. Thank drop you. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Thank her, sis. Thank her. We love you. We love you. We love you. That's it. Thank That's you. it. Now, I'm going to say something real quick. And then, sugar, immediately <laughs> after I am done, you're going to be obedient and pray for our sister Cindy, and then we'll pick right back up, okay? Now, let me say just a few things. And uh, uh, first off, Samuel and Tanya, get her connected with Susan. And why, right, because Susan is a lot of stuff. She is a nutritionist. She, she is a, what was that we were talking about yesterday? A, a sh shaman? No, she's, a, she's a shaman. She's a, she's a whole bunch of stuff, okay? and she, she can get her in the right places. Let me just say this one thing that I really want you to hold on to, Cindy. You have a lot of victories in what you said, and you skipped right over all of them. <laughs> you skipped over all of them, and you, you, you rushed to your pain being louder than your prayers, which yeah. is very relatable, let me tell you very relatable i'm sure all of us can remember or is about to go through a moment a season where our pain is far louder than our prayers yeah. I just, she said my words so thank you miss cindy i woke up this morning like that so she said that pain yeah absolutely absolutely and your pain is legitimate your pain is justified i can tell uh, you got leadership not leading you correctly. You, you're, she's at the point in life where she has to proportion God's blessings. Mm -hmm. I heard all that. I heard a whole lot what you was talking about. I just want to tell you that there's about five, six instances. You even giving up Diet Coke and drinking water for three months is a heck of an accomplishment. Mm -hmm. yes, a heck of an accomplishment. So I, let me honor you before Dr. Sugar prays for you. Let me honor you and just let you know, Cindy, without the advice, without you know any correction, just love, you already have started a process that is gonna reap you a harvest that you're gonna enjoy. And nobody can stand in front of that because nobody has the power to unplant a seed but you okay nobody so we are encouraged oh she's a pass oh lord have mercy okay <laughs> let me so we are encouraged in cindy that especially as a pastor so now let me say i'm gonna take another minute see, see uh, sugar now that i know she's a pastor now that i know you're a pastor you ain't getting no love you're underpaid uh, yeah, yeah, don't fool me now. Okay. You, you, you're underpaid. You serve people 
who don't serve you. Ooh. Only one head pastor, mm. only two people hold your vision and got your back. My God. And the cross every now and then, especially now, is too much to carry. Mm-hmm. You are Jeremiah, the weeping prophet. <laughs> it just is what it is. But that's okay because you already know all the things we could possibly tell you. So the only thing that I would tell you is just in repetition, before I knew you was a pastor, you've got victories you have not counted. Right. That that sounds like God is speaking to you, God's self, Pastor Cindy, there's victories in your life that you are dominating, that you haven't counted. Sugar, come on, put some Holy Spirit in this place. Well, thank you, thank you. Good morning, good morning, everyone. And this prayer just isn't for Cindy, but it's for everyone that's on the line because the way that she spoke and the things that she said, we all have gone through it or we're all going through it right now. But we wanna serve notice to the enemy this morning. You know, Cindy, you're on here because this is a divine reversal that you're going through. This is something that has been led up to this point. And you said, God, I need help. That was a prayer right there. And God heard that prayer because I hear those tears that you have. So, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I just bring Cindy and this entire family to your throne room of favor, grace, and mercy. We curse the stress, the trauma off of Cindy and everyone that's hearing my voice right now in Jesus' name. And fibromyalgia is one of the pain sensors that you are experiencing from trauma. Trauma when you was a little girl, trauma when you was a teenager, trauma from every person that you thought had your back, but you are experiencing betrayal right now. And that betrayal is creating all of that. It's not the Diet Coke, Cindy. It's not just the way your husband is cooking and he's a chef. This is internal. Mm -hmm. This is something you have been fighting for years and years, and now it's at the point of no return. But God says, Cindy, I love you, and I know what you've been going through. And that's why I connected you with the people that I've connected you with, so you can get out of the funk that you're in and you've been carrying all of these years, because you are a a diamond, and you are so precious, not only to God, but now you're going to become precious to this family also. So all the stress, all the trauma, the fibromyalgia, all the uh, female problems that you've had, your back problems, and both of your hips, in the name of Jesus, I speak complete healing right now, headaches to go, blurred visions to go right now, and all the pain and inflammation that you're carrying in your body to leave your body right now in the name of Jesus. And I want you to write the biggest check that you can write to every person that's ever hurt you, harmed you, betrayed you, spoke against you because they are your employees. They are working on your behalf to become that woman, that pastor, that woman of God that God has selected you to be. So you're not the one that's underneath. You're the one that's on top. Pay them off. Say, thank you for strengthening me. Here's a check. Thank you for giving me confidence and boldness. Thank you for getting me to the point of where I'm at right now. You just pay those enemies that's in your life and let them go on about their ways because you are who you are because of what God made you be. And that's for each and every one of you this morning. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. 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 And let me say this here. I don't Mm -hmm. want nobody, nobody, nobody. I don't want to hear nothing y'all know. I know you know what you're talking about. I'm Pastor Cindy. I know you're a pastor. I know you know the Lord. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But that's the problem. Y'all know too much. <clears throat> what you know got you here. Do you understand? The problem with ministry is it's so hard to get past y'all practice person that we can never transform the real you. I'm talking to everybody, okay? Mm-hmm. 
So I'm obviously going to let Pastor Cindy respond here, but I don't want to hear what any of you know. I don't even want to hear what she knows. Are you willing to be uncomfortable for God? Absolutely. Come from that place. Pastor Cindy, you got the floor. You're more than welcome. It is your right to respond and you have blessed this phone call. You, You got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. You know, um, if I didn't have my faith and because of all the uh, sicknesses that I've been through, it was my faith and my hope and my trust in the Lord has got me where I am today. Did I get knocked down? Absolutely. With my faith. I, but I never fell down. He always caught me. He always lifted me up. He always said, "You're going. You, I got you. I got you. I got you." And I know that he's got me. And then he's lifted me up so many times out of the pit, and to be able to get to the next level. But it's just, um, you know, it's just, um, you know, I, I, I can't even tell you. My mind is just um, running around in in so many different directions. Because, you know, in order for me to be the person that I need to be as a pastor, you know, I love, 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 love going out to the homeless, to the less fortunate, into the community. I love, 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 love serving. I love being out there. I love being able to tell people about the Lord, about the relationship. I hate it when I hear it, when people tell me they lost their salvation because they did this or they did that. Their family tore them down, tore them down to nothing, nothing. And then, you know, I've been blessed. I've been blessed to be able to encourage them, to pray over them, to love over them, to pray what they are looking for. They put, you know, praying for a job, praying for a car, praying for a home. And then they come back a few weeks later and say, Pastor Cindy, I got a job. I said, well, now we're going to pray for a better job. Now we're going to pray for increase. And the same way somebody's got found an apartment. They're not homeless anymore. Okay, so we're going to pray for better things. We're just not stopping where you're at. We're going to take you to the next level. So that is just, you know, amazing, amazing. But I've had to stop it. I can't go out right at the moment due to the severity of the pain that I'm in. I can't preach the word of God the way I want to preach the word of God because I've almost, when I've been preaching, the pain got me to got me so bad you know I come onto the chair or to the pulpit so I don't fall down so I know it's just you know it's just frustrating when you want to serve God I love God I love him I love him I love him I have a daughter that you know she's out there she's writing her book first book that's going to be out soon and you know for us to connect and to be able to serve the Lord you know, God's putting us in different directions, which is great, but I know I, I see him putting us together as one, as a mother and daughter, but let me tell you, I'm hurting, I'm disappointed, I'm discouraged. Yes, you're right, Tony, I have a lot of victories. I do have a lot of victories, but by God right now, I, I'm in pain. I don't, I'm, I'm in the pain, that's all I can think at, at right now at this moment is the pain you know the the task that needs to be done yes i have stuff that needs to be done you know be working on grants working on finances that are there but i'm i bet i'm in too much pain that i can't do it i'm afraid i'm gonna make a mistake i don't want to make a mistake i want to be able to make sure when somebody calls me wants prayer you know i'm afraid okay what's the right verse where, where do i need to go to my mind goes blank mm-hmm. my mind goes blank i don't know if you've all been through that that your mind goes blank you, you're trying to where do you turn to where you turn for guidance where you turn to you know for help and then when you talk to your other leaders that's supposed to be working with you and then you get frustration you get distractions you know you're not getting none of us are getting poured into because nobody's listening nobody's listening and when you try to tell them listen we gotta listen you know i'm only here as a vessel i'm god's vessel i'm not perfect i make mistakes but i do know one thing 
I got Jesus in my heart. Jesus is in my heart. And I know this is a battle. And I know I'm going to win the battle. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. I just don't know when I'm going to win the battle. Because I know God's for us. He's not against us. I know he goes before us to fight our battles. I know he's beside of us. I know, you know, Joshua 1, 9 is my verse for the year. Be strong and courageous. And by golly, I've had to be strong and courageous this year. And then my word for this year is listen from Psalms 46, 10. Be still you know, and, and listen. So that's my word. That's my verse. And let me tell you, those are strong verses and, and words that I'm trying to listen to God. I'm trying to, I'm trying to take out what's around me, but listen to his words. But I'm telling you because of the pain, I, I'm having difficulties. I'm truly having difficulties in trying, what, God, what are you trying to tell me to do? What are you trying to tell me to do? Mm -hmm. I'm, ha I'm, I, I'm being truthful. I'm being truthful. I'm having that difficulty. Well, that is a blessing for you being truthful. And again, I've got no correction for you or, or advice can for you. This for her, like, can we give it up for the yes, truth? We sure can. Y'all y'all go ahead and clap for her honesty because <laughs> most of y'all need to be honest around here. Exactly. I'm about to say, like, yes, yes, most need of y'all need to be here. Thank you for showing up because yeah. you are you just told my lie. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, we're you all here together. Lie. Yes, we're here together. I, 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 I laugh and joke just because of the pain. So you just told my lie. Thank well, you. Well, that's why much. I'm not. That's why I'm not saying nothing because you can't tell someone in pain stuff. You just can't. I fully know. Let me. Let, well, yeah, y'all don't want me to get started. I'll get started here in a second. Let me. Let me first say to Cindy that yeah, I've got nothing for you. I got plenty for you. I can't say nothing right now. But right now, we're going to be resources for you and uh, a tribe around you. How many of you understand? Ain't nobody came to Jesus in pain and Jesus said, well, the word says. <laughs> That's not Antonio, what happened. Yes, sir. Obviously, the year is 2021. So I like John 2021. And he said to them again, Peace be with you. As yeah. the Father sent me, so I am sending you. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Fantastic. Fantastic. Amen. Now, listen, y'all, y'all, y'all got to. Uh, when Jesus hit people with the word, it was Pharisees. All right. You know, you, you understand. Mm -hmm. The regular folk say, you know, are oh, you fish? All right. Well, I know a fisherman. You plant seeds, I know a farmer. You know, just regular old talk. Just regular old talk. And Luke, the entire book of Luke, all Jesus did was use food, heal people's hunger, and then gave them what they needed to fulfill the need. I got plenty to say. But when your pain is that loud, yeah. ain't much you can hear. Mm -hmm. Antonio? Listen? Yes, sir. One of the things that I thank God about for you as a, as a leader for ATS, as well as a spiritual leader, um, and you've never directed this at me personally, <clears throat> but I've listened to you talk about the church and those of us in the church. And, and so forth and so on like that. And I thank the Lord for you giving me a mirror to look at, to realize that a lot of what I learned from the church was involved with the church. Well, as you say, was my detriment, was the thing that was holding me back. And, and, and it, they weren't bad people. They were doing what they knew, they were doing what they were told. And I was following their example but when I looked at my harvest, I kept saying, where's my harvest? And I'm going through all of this mess. And then one day I, I woke up and I said, Jerome, if what you're doing isn't working, 
then you know you need to do something different. Then the question was, what do you do differently? That's another story altogether. But what I was doing was part of my problem. And God used you to help me see that. And when I realized that that was the deal, then I was in a position to do something for myself. And I didn't have to come to you and say, Antonio, blah, 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 blah. I knew that I had to work within Jerome. And when I started working within Jerome and doing things differently, trusting God, then all of a sudden I went, wow, wow. So I thank God for you, Antonio, being honest about that, being upfront and not doing it overbearingly like religion, this, religion, no. This is what we do. When you talk about Jerome, you ain't got no problem paying God his tithe, but what are I paying you? And I'm like, huh? No one ever educated me about that, you know? Yeah, and then when I need something, I ain't got nothing, why? Because I'm giving away everything. Because I'm told that that's what you're supposed to do. You ain't supposed to be rich, you you, you, you church man. You know, you're supposed mm-hmm. to be broke, you know? And it's ingrained in you, is, is it that condition? Meet Walter Wellman, the owner of Wellman's Auto Parts. Everything was fine until his calibration system took a turn for the worse. Critical failure, failure, failure. He needed a new one ASAP, so he used his American Express business card, which lets him earn extra membership rewards points on his business purchases, so the wheels keep on turning. Built for business by American Express. Don't do business without it. While this story is fictional, the value of Amex business cards is real. Terms apply. Learn more at americanexpress.com slash business cards. Mm-hmm. And, it, and it ain't that I need to be rich. But why do I need to be broke? Not when I'm supposed to get a hundredfold in this life and a hundredfold to come. That's mm-hmm. written in the book. Mm-hmm. But they ain't preaching that. See? So I just thank you, Antonio, for yes, sir. Illum- shining the light on what's really going on, especially in the spiritual and religious community. And I don't want to be religious. I want to be a servant. Mm-hmm. I want to serve the most high king. That's what I want to do. That's right. Well, that's why. I, th- thank you, first, Jerome. Thank you. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm. I'm, tr- I'm trying to hold my mute because I already know. I, I already know. I'm doing my very best to 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 let y'all make it right now. Let me. There's a lot going. Cindy, first. I'm, I'm, let, me, let me first do you before I um, take back over. You remind me. What I'm attempting to do, y'all, is just love on. I ain't got nothing mm-hmm. to, you, you know what I'm saying? You know, this is why, you know, God can't use unapproachable servants. Mm. Mm-hmm. We got right. enough of that. You, you understand? We got plenty of that. We don't, we don't need any more unapproachable servants. Cindy, I, your boldness, your, 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 Transparency is world class, world class. You remind me, and I, I've never really said I'm. I'm chief of saying there are no King Davids. Right? We're, we're all just King Sauls, you know, throwing rocks and spears at each other's anointing. You know, there's no more King Davids. That was that was just it was just one. Everybody else is a King Saul. You, you, uh-oh, yeah, I didn't like that. Okay. Sometimes God will put you under a King Saul to deal with the King Saul in you. How about that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because spear throwing is what we oh, do. Yeah. We mm-hmm. love spear throwing. Yeah. Oh, Jerome said that good. Let me say something. Right? Spear throw. You know, because I, I didn't like his anointing and I was going to say something similar. Let me wait right. so I can say something. Let me throw that. No, no, no. That's, that's who we are. But I'm going to go against that, and I'm going to say Cindy reminds me of King David. Mm. You do, mm. you do, you do, because, <laughs> admittedly, so that man uh, admitted stuff I'd never go admit. Phil, I'm not gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you at all. Ain't no sense in me. Listen here, uh, yeah, I ain't doing this, Susan. <laughs> no, 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 no. He admitted some stuff that I'm never going to admit. I'm still lying. Lie to God. Just say lying. You know, just let's lie. Try to try to try to feel better about what I did. Just lie. Okay. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, because someone, you know how to share your screen. If it, this is now, I'm going. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I believe the first three verses of Psalm chapter three sums up 
Cindy very well. I, I believe I'm, I'm, I'm taking a big chance here, but I know something. I know a little bit of something, just a little bit. The first three versions, well, okay, whichever version you want to pull up, whichever version you want to pull up, doesn't matter to me. The first three verses. This is, I had a, a I had an old preacher, he was like 65, said the best version of the Bible is the one you read. <laughs> I, used, I used to get so tickled when he said that <laughs> so tickled god look My Lord. all right first off okay. david fed up now nah, come on now it ain't, this ain't this ain't too hard to look at these first two words and recognize mm-hmm. this sound like cindy god look, look. there's a cuss word girl right after that it does. shoot y'all know what i'm talking about <laughs> all right right there enemies past counting Sound like Cindy, huh? I, I, I can't take it. Enemies sprouting up like mushrooms. Y'all, y'all seen that before, huh? It's everywhere. Mobs of them all around me. Roaring and mockery. Ha! Ain't no help for her. Watch it now. But you, God. That sound like Cindy, don't it? <laughs> Watch it, Bishop. Shoot me on all sides. <laughs> you ground my feet. You lift my head. <laughs> and that next one is verse four. With all my might, I shout up to God. His answers, thunder from holy mama. Then we can just go back, but you. That's it. God. Come on. Yeah. Heal me on all sides. You ground my feet, <clears throat> lift my head. Cindy, that sounds like you to me. Yes. That, yes. that, that sounds like you. Yes. David had two. Look, God, look, shoot. It's real out here. I got to get this off me. But God, you lift my head. <laughs> that's all like you, Cindy. The whole time you was talking, that's all I heard. She said, Look, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. But God, that's all I kept hearing right her say. Now. Am I the only one that heard that? Hold, hold what you got. Amen. You ain't the only one. All right, then. Cindy, you all right. You I, Now, I don't mean to invalidate what you're going through. I mean, as a whole, God ain't forgot you. And you know this. So I ain't got I I got no advice for you, but I honor you on this day for sounding like David. <laughs> middle of your complaints, you were still praising. Yes. Come on, y'all unmute your mics for that. Woo! That's hard. That's hard. Come on, man. Yeah, Cindy. Yeah. Well done. Well done. That's hard. Well done. To praise while in pain. Mm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Now they don't train that. That no, takes faith. No. That you, yeah, you, you can't. You, some of this stuff you can fake, Samuel. You don't get to fake that one. No, no you can't fake that one. You, you understand? You can't, huh? Okay, you, yeah, you can't fake that one. You, you understand? When you <laughs> praise in pain, you done learned that somewhere. Okay, old folks say you, you don't know God if you don't try. Okay. All right, now I got something to say. I'm, I'm for this. What started this, y'all, is I told everybody that this is March 15th. You now have enough data to know how the rest of your year is going to go. Unless you change it, you have enough <laughs> data. And I said, you now know how many incomplete tasks and incomplete days you have done this year. Yep. Yep. And that's what made Cindy say something. Renita, mm-hmm. I saw you I'll take just a couple of y'all because I'm, I'm really. I'm about to shake y'all into existence. I really am. I, I started this for a reason. Because you're much easier to work with when you're healthy. Come on. Okay, come on, Renita. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I just want to say, you know, Antonio, you are truly gifted. <clears throat> and I say this because no matter what it is that a person needs or wants, regardless who the person is that comes on a call, I mean, you don't know Adam or Eve. You don't know who it is. But you always have the word. You have the right word. I mean, that that scripture just came out of you. And I mean, it was right on point. And even, you know, I yesterday on Clubhouse, you know, somebody needs something, you request a book or you recommend a book. It's like, I don't understand. Well, I do understand. It's all God. You know, God has truly gifted you. But for you to be so young and, you know, for the naysayers that think, you know, how's this man a millionaire? How's this man doing this? He don't look like that. But I'm telling you, if you are fake, then you are a very good, gifted, talented, all around 
fake. Because, man, the stuff that comes out of you, you talking about prophesizing to everybody. Man, you are just... And you just said, I'm sitting here, I'm on fire. I'm an anointed, right I'm a anointed <laughs> fraud. That's it. <laughs> but I just want to, that's all I wanted to say. You are great. You have greatness in you. The way that you inspire us, the way that you, you know, demand the greatness in all of us. So, oh Lord, <laughs> I'm telling you. Who is that, Deanna, you pointed at? <laughs> <laughs> you, you're so, so that's all I needed to say. But thank you so much, and I thank God every day, literally every day, for bringing you, the ATS family, to my life. You all don't know how much you've changed my life. But thank you, thank you, Miss Cindy, for getting it started. Just thank you, thank you so much. So love thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate you. I meant to. Say, yes, 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 yes. I meant to say <laughs> earlier. I believe Delo or Delo have. Dolores. Was Dolores? No, 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 no. D E L O. That's Dolores. Okay, she had someone new on the call. I saw it earlier. Yeah, that's uh, Maquilla. Hey, good morning, Maquilla. everybody. Go ahead. You, you go ahead and say something about your person. Awesome. Um, she's an awesome person. Actually, I literally she just called me like ten minutes before nine o'clock to say hello, and I gave her the number to get on the call when she got on. I started oh, telling. Hey, her that's her. it. Hey, yeah. Man. Yeah, so, jump on this call. <laughs> no, that's right. <laughs> and then some of the accomplishments that I know you were talking about accomplishments we did for the quarter, which is kind of good. I write them down, but it's kind of good to hear, I guess you can say. Sorry, guys, I'm driving. If you hear background noises, um, no worries. I do Divine Connections magazine, so I completed the quarterly issue for March. Um, I was nominated for S and M award, so voting is going on right now. Good. Um, for interviews, I do on Wednesdays from three to six. I'm filled up until March, so I'm kind of like two months ahead, which is good. Um, I connected with this group called YBE, which is uh, the Year of the Black Entrepreneurs, which is a great group. And then ATS, I, I well, I connected what about a week ago. And then, as far as health wise, um, I drink a lot of lemon water. Um, I juice. Um, I started drink, eating those goalies. Um, I had made, uh, what is it called? Southwest egg rolls, just something different and eating a lot of stuff with um, spinach. And I was going to walk this morning, but it was cold. So I changed my mind, but I'm out. So I'm walking. And then um, I am doing a Mother's Day, is some of the goals, um, Mother's Day special with Divine Connections, honoring 100 mothers with a $50 packet, giving them a packet. And then I'm doing sponsors for 100 businesses for $25 that want to sponsor a gift to a mother. And then I took your ideal of the Mother Day raffle. I put the fly out yesterday um, for the flat screen TV. I'm also working on my event for September um, for vendors, choirs, praise dance moms and all of that. I do that once a year for networking. And then I started inviting people last night to um, ATS. So those are my Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And you're having a great year. Whoa, yes. Yes, you're having a great year for sure. Mark Marquia or Marquila, depending on how you say it, you're more than welcome. Her guest. Come on in and say something. And um, correct me about your name. Too. It's Marquila. Okay, Marquila. Good. Yeah. Um, I didn't know what the call was about. I just joined because, you know, Dolores likes to pull me into positive stuff, <laughs> which is a good thing. So, um, you know, I'm just here to observe and listen. I don't have much to say right now because <laughs> my oh, voice is good. Yeah. Well, it was a thank joy. For having me. No, thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Yes, yes. I brought up the incomplete, I said it before, I got it I got it from some movie or something. I probably twist the words around, but if you keep, how do I say it? If you keep waiting for tomorrow, you'll only end up with a bunch of empty yesterdays. I want all of you to document in your mind, do not answer out loud, just in your mind, man, how many incomplete tasks you have. Even if you completed it, how long did you delay it to complete it? We're not talking about how many times did you try and fail. That's not incomplete. That is success. To try and fail is success. Let no one 
tell you differently because anybody who makes money is going to tell you try and fail a success to push back to never do all that's on the road to poverty all that's failure now, i want you to think about it i want you to think about it do not listen i right now i feel it i hear it you're not having the transparency of cindy right now you're not right now this is why this is why i said i know too much Right now, I can't even get you to be honest in your head. <laughs> like not out loud, in your head, you won't even be honest with yourself. You know, you know, <laughs> if you can't be honest with you, you're only training your subconscious to create more of that. Why? Because it's the story you tell yourself and others is one of the largest parts of retraining your subconscious. I want all of you, don't say nothing. I know you got something to say and I know it's smart. <laughs> I know it is. I know it is. But just pause real quick because I was going to, Cindy blessed me. I was going to say, y'all, blank this but that's not true it is true but you have to get past that but she did it for me and actually said the exact words but i'll i'll get past that here in a second take a moment take a moment and just look at how many incomplete tasks you have this year that's all i'm asking if you believe that we're all connected if you believe that if you, if you, uh, Christians have dominated this call. So if it's Romans eight and twenty eight, then you know what God is just using my throat to tell you what I'm telling you right now. This ain't coming from me. Should you be a believer? Okay, should you believe that this is right what you were supposed to hear? So God is asking you, how many incomplete tasks are you going to continue for the rest of this year? You, 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 you all went through 2020 and it was the worst year ever. And you said this one was going to be better. And you, you're still doing your thing. We ain't had no hurricanes yet. Can't blame that. <laughs> we have had snowstorms in weird places. Capital riots. We had some stuff happen now. We had celebrities still dying. We had some stuff. But just ask yourself, how many incomplete tasks? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a five, se five second uncomfortable silence and you're going to admit to yourself, like Dolores, I had a great year. Shoot, you crazy. I did everything. Jerome, I did everything. I've been saying I was gonna finish that book for four years. I finished it this year, Antonio, Hello. sure did. Some of y'all having fantastic years, but that's, that's you know, 2080 rule, right? You, you, you're getting some saying? The fart. Five seconds uncomfortable silence starts right after I complete this sentence. Admit to yourself, you are or you not. <clears throat> you are completing your task or you are not. Go. All right. Now that you've taken inventory, don't tell nobody. Change it, even if you've completed tasks. You ain't did enough. You wrote four books, write four more. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> you do greater things than me, right? Is that not? Mm -hmm. is, uh, right? you, you understand? Yeah. I, I, I'm not, I didn't say be ungrateful or not appreciate what you've accomplished, but know you're greater than what you just did. What you just did, that great, all that stuff, Dolores just told me all that stuff Jerome did. That's the old them now. I just did that. How long ago? Well, you 10 minutes better. So you got to do something better now. You, you, you understand? You go, this, is, this is the thing. Dolores says she has another visitor that came on. Sandra Lucky. Yes. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Yes. Dolores got all her. Girl, listen, you're going to call me. You're going to meet uh, on this phone call first. That's it. That's what she does. Sandra, it is a pleasure to have you. <clears throat> a great pleasure to have you. Now, my turn. 
Here's what I want to tell you. I brought up that you have incomplete tasks because every last one of you who have incomplete tasks was going to tell me how justified it was. And you are correct. I promise you that every single excuse that you have for me is 100% facts. I promise you that your leadership is letting you down, just like Cindy. I promise you. I promise you that I just found out this morning, Florida unemployment max, the maximum amount of money you can get in Florida unemployment is $274 a week. Just found it out this morning. So if you're in Florida and you're on unemployment, yep, you got all the, re- it's, you're justified not to be doing well. You're justified. Unemployment rate high, COVID rate high. 274 a week is what your government said. And two years ago, out of 22 million people, three years ago, out of 22 million people in Florida, only 61,000 of them were on unemployment Mm. due to all the hoops and stuff you got to jump. All facts. Can they complain? Yep. Every last one of you. Prophet Jerry right now, 50 some years old, hospital bed. He has a reason, justified. <clears throat> Maybe you had an accident. Maybe you lost use of your legs. Maybe you're a disabled veteran. <clears throat> you can't work out at five o'clock in the morning for ATS Fitness. You're disabled. You're back. You're this. Trust me, there are disabled veterans in ATS Fitness working out past their dis- disabledness and not complaining. But yes, you're justified. The people who change the world move past their justifications. Can you see it? Can you see Matthew, since y'all brought up Christianity? using his people, taking them for taxes, living off their sacrifices. Then Jesus walks up and say, hey, come follow me. Matthew's justified to say, no, wait a minute now. I'm not the one you're looking for. I'm pretty much a drug dealer in the 21st century. I'm the very reason the people are in poverty. I'm rich off of your father's sacrifices. Mm. I might as well be a Sadducee because I'm taking taxes, but I'm not doing it for holiness. I'm working with Rome, robbing my people. Justify. Matthew said not a word. But yes, Lord. If that don't work, I got plenty more examples. All right, you teaching it this morning, Bishop. You teaching this morning. Wow, the nuggets are strong. There was a young lady. <clears throat> See if y'all guess her name. She was blind and deaf. Mm. Had no reason to accomplish nothing. We still talk about her today. They got plays. They got one act plays. About her. That's, that's, that sounds like like a Helen Keller. Come on now. <laughs> like Helen Keller. That's it. That's it. <laughs> they got one act plays about this lady. Don't make no sense. Was she justified? Yeah. Are you justified? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm sorry. When you say Helen Keller, everyone know that. She has a life. She lived that life, and her story was all from the memory that she had when she was two years old. So you know how you said, like, the beginning of your life helps you out for the rest of your life? Mm -hmm. That young lady, Helen Keller, lost her eyesight at two. So she saw something, and she kept that through her whole journey of existence, being blind, but being able to speak life into what we're doing right now. Like, I like Helen, because Helen is a story. Two years old, two years old, and she ran with it. It's a good example. I'll give you another one. 
I don't need the Bible. I don't need the Quran. Give you nothing. It was a lady in a male dominated industry flying airplanes that just got invented. You can't go across the whole world, woman, get in the kitchen, oh, take them shoes off, mm-hmm. cook for your husband, who I'm talking about. Is that Bessie Coleman? Amelia Earhart, but It'll you know be, what? Oh, okay. That was oh, okay. good too. But you I was right, thinking though. of Bessie, my bad. Yeah, you're doing good though. You're doing good though. Yeah. Antonio. Yes, ma'am. I was so impressed with her as a child and just thought about her all the time that all I wanted one Christmas, I think I was a senior in high school, was the Amelia Earhart luggage. So that when I went away to college, I I just looked up to her and admired her that I would have that luggage and I kept it it was yellow luggage kind of a pale not bright just a pale soft creamy yellow and I just thought that was the greatest thing ever and it inspired me it truly inspired me she inspired me greatly she is inspirational she's dead still changing the world (laughs) come on Come on, this is happening. This That's is right. absolutely happening. Let's bring up politics. Yeah, I don't like that kind of stuff. Without Hillary Clinton, wouldn't even be no woman taken seriously in politics. You ain't got like that. But the future is female. I, I, I thought I had a few women on this one. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Let me know something. Wait, Let I got a question. Sorry, I did. I did it in, the, in my house first. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, Adrian. You said how? I'm trying to break that down. That's why I wanted to know how can you make the difference if before Hillary Clinton ever, ever, ever ran for president, right? So she would it be the scandal? That's what I, that's what I'm trying to say. What that's is the politics? Woman and what is the what are they saying? Is it the that's scandal politics. or her running? That's politics. That's that's propaganda. That's that's utter BS. You understand gotcha. what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. <clears throat> y'all like David, he had three major scandals. Mm-hmm. King David, you understand? Mm-hmm. Jesus was scandalous walking around. <laughs> Healing people on the Sabbath. You, you understand? Hey, come on, you got right. You, you you gotta watch. There is nothing. See, this is the this is the great propaganda of men. We will make sure you hate a woman. You, you understand? When the scandal was having a private server. First of all, do you know? how many scandalous men are still in politics right now for far worse. One guy showed his whole wee wee left and then this is true and then got reelected. You know what? Let me put that in church talk. Oh my. You let a man have a church get caught up with a mistress be the talk of the town. He gonna keep the pool pit. Yep. You let a woman try that. Double standard. All I'm trying to do is tell you that there are plenty of far of great examples of justified people who should have stopped and they did not. And may that be a lesson or at least an inspiration or a catalyst, a springboard for any of you. Renita is a 24 year, 24 year veteran of the United States Army. A woman. There were times they wouldn't even let women in the army. And if they did, they would just be medical. Y'all, hold on. The example of Mary Magdalene was downplayed in New Testament because an apostle did not like her. It's actually, well, you gotta remember, well, how many of you, 
you, you, you have to, anyway, let me, let me not. I just want to tell y'all, I don't know what the heck you're going to do for the rest of the year, but I know as for me, I did everything I said I was going to do plus. Plus, I was looking at notes. I was looking at notes on some things that I'm, I'm going to have us do for this year and the, the planning. And almost six months ago, I'll show it to y'all right here. I had to put a check by yesterday. Almost six months ago, I took a poll of y'all and I was like, hey, which which classes which I like to see in ATS? And everybody said, look, how you put your name down? I put your name, Jerome would like this, you know, Abby would like this. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> this is done too. Let me put a check by this. You just don't see it. Actually, you see it up there right now. Mm -hmm. This is actually done. So let me, this is done. That's done. And that's not, that's not. This is done. You see, boom, boom, that's not done. Financial, this is, well, yep, this is done. There are those in the special trainings. That's not done, that's not done. That's not done, boom. I accidentally did one, two, three, four, five of these and forgot to look back at them. I just wrote them down. But in that energy of completing stuff, <clears throat> it's an exercise with Susan, right? That's ATS Fitness. Mm -hmm. Literally done every single thing I said I was going to do. I don't have a single incomplete task, not one. And the stuff, now I'm a minimalist. I'm a minimalist. I, I I don't need much. I come from a trash can, literally. So there's no reason for me to. I don't need much. Give me, give me black coffee. Strong black coffee. No, nothing in it. Just black coffee. And black t-shirt. And a black t-shirt. Yeah, I had on one on yesterday. <laughs> black t-shirt. That's all I need. They keep telling me do this, dress that. I do it tomorrow, right? You know, I just I'm a minimalist. I don't, I, I don't typically need many things to be happy due to how I was raised, quote unquote. Finish. Take a challenge with me, all of you. I challenge all of you to finish everything you start this year. And do not give up, do not stop, make no excuses. And most importantly, don't receive all the justified reasons why you should stop. I don't think anybody on this call is a quitter. I think I have enough evidence to know that all of you know too much. And when you see you should stop, that's what you do. That's your problem. You're too smart. You see obstacles. You see there's no way out. You see it's time to stop and you do. That's not how success works. Successful people see it cannot be done. See it is impossible and invent it themselves. That's how this is done. That's how this is done. Take the challenge. Make sure all of you, as we hang up, disconnect. You finish. Don't you get on your kids for being what you showed them. <laughs> kids do not do what you have told them. They live what you have showed them. And that is true. When you're getting on these kids for living what you have showed them to live. Finish. It's March 15th. You have enough power to finish. 
I'm going to give you a way I finish and we're done. I, this is not wise. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I see you feel. I'm let you talk about Monday, the, tonight's class too. I do not recommend you doing this. I do it. I do not recommend you doing this. This is, this is a consult your physician. Okay. <laughs> consult your physician before you take two doses of Antonio's pills. Okay. This is just for the extreme of you. This is just for the extreme of you. Grace, share your calculator. I'm going to do this here. And then Phil's going to tell you about it. We'll be out here about 9 16, something like that. I do not recommend this. Do you understand? Couture, actually consult your physician. Grace, can you show me on the calculator how many hours in a day? Really? It's still 24? Okay. Can you, can you, can you help me out? And let's just assume there's 30 days per month, even February. Can you show me how many hours are in three months? Two thousand one hundred and sixty. That's total hours in three months. Two thousand one hundred and sixty. Grace, do we work that many? No, we don't work twenty-five hours a day. Can we just assume all of you work eight hours a day? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's seven. What? Seven twenty. She said seven hundred twenty hours in a month, and we did three months. Okay, you got it. Everybody, everybody got me. Okay, now start over, Grace, so they can understand. Even though I could have just divided it by sixty-six percent, I would have got it. But they're not going. You know, you understand. Take eight now. Multiply that by ninety. That's the ninety days. Seven hundred and twenty. Everybody understand. Mm -hmm. Seven hundred and twenty hours is what you're working. Not Antonio. Antonio gains a month and a half over you every chance he gets. I'll explain. Here to calculate the priest. Grace, every waking day on planet Earth, I am working. If I'm not working, I am reading. If I'm not reading, I have audio book in me reading. Do you understand? I work 16 to 20 hours a day. This is consult your physician before you take Antonio. Side effects may include, you understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 16 hours a day. Let's just do that at 18. Grace, I do 18. Can you do that times 90? Now you do 720. Everybody follow me? Mm -hmm. Watch this here. That's 1620. Remember that. Grace, do 18. Excuse me, do eight hours. Remember 1620. Do eight hours. This time, Sanders, we're going to get it for a full year. All right? That's eight hours a day for 30 days, 365. <clears throat> 2920. Grace, minus that, or do... Give me the fraction between 1620 and 2920. In three months, I did half your full year. Somebody didn't get it. Okay. <clears throat> In three months. I do half your full year. That's why you are mentored. This, well, that I do not recommend this. Follow <laughs> pursuit. Just, but, but no, no, no. Doctor, follow pursuit. <laughs> Even if you follow pursuit in the manner that you can, from what you're saying, like I'm over on my desk you taking know. notes, but that's what I said. Eve, I'm listening and I'm like, wow, okay. I like that's that. Why, that's why I F with him. Like, you know what I mean? Like, follow I see where you're coming from. The manner that you can. I like that. I like that. That'll get me not sued. Phil, explain <laughs> to us what's happening tonight <laughs> during class. George Bernard Shaw said, reasonable people adapt themselves to their environment. 
Unreasonable people adapt the environment to themselves. Therefore, all progress is due to unreasonable people. Whereas the ego said, take it to the limit one more time. Uh, first of all, we're going to be celebrating your wins. So we love to have people come and bring their wins and celebrate them and share them with the rest of us. Because then maybe we might say, hey, I can do that. And then your challenges, bring your challenges, because we always like to brainstorm on your challenges. And then we're going to talk about 10 steps to be better and six problem solving mindsets for very uncertain times. And I'm listening to the audiobook of Profit First. Pretty amazing stuff, Antonio. So uh, 10 steps to be better, bring your wins, bring your challenges, and six problem solving mindsets for during uncertain times. Profit First is one of my favorite books, and I personally know the author. He was on my podcast. Outstanding. Thank you all, ladies and gentlemen. We got that. That's tonight for the Humor Consultants show is what we like to affectionately call it around here, which is pretty much a business incubator of all sorts of stuff. So you're going to be very, very pleased with that. All of you go out and do not quit. And be like Pastor Cindy and find you a new tribe and lean on your new divine connections. Antonio T. Smith Jr., you can't play it better. You can dominate. Thank you, everybody. You can meet the mic showing us each other. Love you. Love, you. Love you more. Thank you. All right, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good evening. Hey, my name. Meet Shannon Simmons, owner of Rad Ads Ad Agency. Shannon's biggest client is across the country, and they requested an in-person meeting tomorrow. So she used her American Express Business Cards app feature, which lets her track her business expenses from the last-minute flight to the late-night burrito upon arrival. Big meeting Tuesday, expenses recorded Wednesday, crushing it every day. Built for business by American Express. Don't do business without it. While this story is fictional, the value of Amex Business Cards is real. Terms apply. Learn more at americanexpress.com slash businesscards. The new hot honey hand-breaded chicken sandwich at Hardee's. Hand-breaded chicken topped with crispy bacon, melty Swiss, and hot honey. It's honey with a kick. Go get it now at Hardee's. Feed your happy. Available for a limited time at participating Hardee's restaurants. Price and participation may vary.